Hey YouTube, I'm back with another mechanical pencil review. This time I'll be reviewing the Zebra Color Flight in 05 millimeter. And let's see if I can get the name to focus. Is that is it has a very subdued name on the body of the pencil. And mine is an aquamarine with like sparklies. And it comes in a wide variety of colors, but you can see that uh, there's the name printed on the side. Not a lot of contracts between the name and the body. And I'll be comparing the Zebra Color Flight to two other pencils that are in its class, so to speak. I'll be comparing it to the Pilot S3, classic drafting style pencil, and perhaps the creme de la creme of drafting style pencils, the Pentel P207. Or P20X. I, I prefer the uh, 0.5 millimeter. Some people prefer the 0.7 millimeter. And so I'll be running down some of the key features of the Color Flight and what's different and what's similar between it and the other two pencils that we're talking about. So first, a quick tour of the pencil. You can see that the body of the Color, Pl Color Flight compares pretty similarly to the body of the S3 and the Pentel P20X series. They're all smooth plastic uh, barrels with uh, just some inset hard plastic ridges where the grip is. And they're more pronounced on the P207 and the Color Flight than they are on the S3. And some of the other features are very strong pocket clip, okay, very similar to the other ones. Um, aesthetically, it's a little bit different than the S3 and the P207. I can't imagine it being too different in terms of functionality, although the P207s is longer than the S3 and the Zebra Color Flight. For the tip, what's interesting about the Zebra Color Flight is that you can see that there's this plastic piece where the lead sleeve is located, and I've read online that some people have speculated that that might be due to uh, some lead cushioning for the tip. I'm not really sure. Both the S3 and the P20X by Pentel have a solid metal lead sleeve and cone that leads to the lead sleeve. And so a big question is, what is this little plastic piece for? Is it functional? Is it aesthetic? I'd have to imagine that it is functional. Does it maybe reduce the cost of the pencil? All of these are in about the same price range. Okay. Um, eraser. Eraser is interesting in the color flight, and part of the reason why I wanted to try this out is because it is an extendable eraser. It's not a very large extendable eraser. That's that's pretty much what you get. And when you compare it to the eraser on the Pentel P200 series, you can see that in actuality the, the P200 series eraser is larger. It's made out of a stronger compound. Uh, you have to manually move the P207 eraser when it starts to wear down. There's an eraser cap on the P207 that you have to take off, which is not the case on the Color Flight, and more on the eraser here in a second. Let me see if I can... It doesn't screw back in very easily. You sort of have to push it in once you screw it down. And then the Pilot S3 has a much, much tinier eraser, and so the... Pentel P200 series, uh, just on appearance of the eraser, is appearing to, to win out, even though it is a little uh, more cumbersome than the Color Flight. A big thing for me when I'm erasing with mechanical pencils is that I don't want to feel a lot of wobble in the lead sleeve, so if we just do a little bit of scribbling with the P200 series and then erase, not a lot of wobbling when I erase with the P200 series. Pilot S3, little bit of wobble and color flight, extend the eraser, all sorts of wobble. And that's annoying, okay? So immediately, if you hold the color flight in your hand, you can tell that the eraser has a, a much lower quality dock than the other pencils. So something to keep in mind, okay? What about the rundown of the color flight in terms of my rating scale? Well, writing experience, I'm gonna give it a good Okay, it, it's fine. It feels okay. Zebra Color Flight. In this case, it's well, already got some lead breakage. 0 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil. 
you know, writing experience is good. Uh, quality, I've already mentioned some issues that I have with the eraser, and even if this little plastic piece is intended to prevent lead breakage, um, I'm going to dock it on quality for that. Uh, I don't think that you need it to avoid lead breakage, honestly, and so why have a cheaper portion of the pencil? I'm not quite sure, um, but the quality is, you know, it's okay. Uh, the S3 is better. The Pentel P200 series, better. They're both better in terms of solidity of the quality of the, than the Color Flight. Uh, features? Well, it'll get an OK+. Plus. I mean, the Pentel P200 series gets an OK for features. It's my lowest uh, rated top 10 pencil in terms of features. And so I'm going to go an OK plus on the features for this just because of the extendable eraser. But honestly, it's really not that different of an eraser than the Pentel P200 series. It's just this little thing that docks in here that clearly can be erased or it can be replaced, I should say. It's not easy to get it to screw back in. Okay, so I'll throw that back down in there. There we go. Okay, and so for features, I'll give it an OK Plus since it has that extendable eraser, even though it really isn't all that different from the P200 series and the Pilot S3. And then for price, it's cheap. It's 5 bucks. And so given its price, with a writing experience of good, a quality of OK, a features of OK Plus, for, the ex for virtually the same price, you can get, get a Pilot S3, which is a fine mechanical drafting pencil. Plastic, but really sturdy plastic. And has this wraparound pocket clip. Uh, eraser, not as good on the S3. The gold standard, Pentel P200 series. You know, five bucks for a P207 at Target. And five to six dollars is about the price point for uh, Pentel P200 series. This is the gold standard. It makes the top 10 for a reason. It's better than the S3, although the S3 is a fine pencil, and far below both of these is going to be the Zebra Color Flight. And so, um, if you're a collector and you're looking to collect something different, the Color Flight, I think, comes in a much wider array of colors than any of these pencils come in. Okay, I think there's like I don't know, like seven or eight colors for the P2 for the P200 series and for the S3 in in like non pastels, and then there's this whole range of pastels in the, for the P200 series. Color Flight has like five or six colors, okay, um, and so it's not even winning out in that category. And so if you're a cal uh, if you're a collector, check out the Zebra Color Flight. If you're not a collector, your five bucks would be very well spent with either a P200 series pencil. This is the one that I would go for. It's in my top 10 for a reason. And you can't go wrong with a Pilot S3 either. Pilot S3 is a fine pencil. It's perhaps the one that is currently not in the honorable mention that if I were to open up the honorable mentions to more pencils, it would definitely be on there. I currently have it at 10, but I can think of 10 pencils that deserve an honorable mention for me more than the Pilot S3. But it's a fine pencil. So both of these pencils are better pencils than the Zebra Color Flight. But I wanted to review it since I took a chance on it, and uh, it has a lot in common with these other two pencils, but in, honestly, it, it doesn't stack up to the Pilot S3 or to the Pentel P200 series. And so um, give them a whirl. Um, if you're a collector, if you're not a collector, shoot for a Pentel P200. Okay, it's the gold standard for a reason. And so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll keep posting videos as I continue to explore mechanical pencils. And feel free to post a question in the comment, and thanks for watching.